Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. Uh, if you see my last video, um, I showed you how you could connect your Nintendo Switch to your iPad. Um, this is an iPad Pro M2 model. Now, not saying that you should go out and buy this setup today or, you know, um, the goal is to show you what's, what's possible. So, if you, since for me, like I capture a lot of gameplay video for my, for my channel. So I already have this stuff. So if you have, you know, this already, great. If you want to go out and buy it, you know, you can always find a good price on eBay. I picked this up from eBay. This is the six, the, the HDX 60. I picked this up from eBay for 80 bucks, but it does get pricey. It can get up to, I don't know, 149 bucks. So it just depends where you buy it from and when you buy it. So that's just, um, you know, just word of caution there. Um, so today I'm just going to show you some uh, a way to connect your PlayStation 5 to your iPad. Now, not not the most practical uh, setup, but just show you just what's possible. Okay. So again, uh, this is an HDMI in for my PlayStation 5. This USB-C cable goes to my iPad um, connector. Okay. So what's great about the iPad screen versus maybe some other ones that you buy um, from like Amazon. This is a micro OLED screen. This is 12.9 inches, but because of the aspect ratio, it's 16, uh, 16, 9. So uh, you're not going to get the full screen effect, but it's definitely something that if you already had the iPad in your possession that you can go ahead and uh, you know make it work. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you what... PlayStation 5 looks like on the iPad Pro okay so I have everything all connected all right and if you're new to my channel please feel free to hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel grow like comment subscribe if you're using this setup or you have a different setup that works for you okay so today we're going to be using the PlayStation 5 I'm going to go ahead and fire this bad boy up okay now it works phenomenal with the Nintendo Switch. Really like that setup for me. Um, and just want to see, show you what uh, Tekken, you know, my favorite game Tekken 8 looks like on the iPad. Okay. So let's go ahead and play a couple rounds here. Uh, let's go offline. Go to arcade, uh, arcade battle. And the colors, I mean, in person, the colors just pop. I mean, it looks very sharp. Get ready for the next battle. I'll play a few rounds here just to show you what that looks like. Again, it's all coming from the HDX 60 here. <laughs> oh, he's getting mangled today. All right, let's see. Start off with that Spartan kick. Giant swing. There you go. It runs really good. Now, obviously, uh, if you have a TV, you want to play on your TV because it's more convenient. Because who has a, a console that they lug around? <laughs> but if you want a pretty good visual, um, and you have an iPad, just to kind of see what that looks like, maybe you like that setup. You know, more power to you. I'll do two more fights. Oh, special already? Yikes. I might lose this one. Oh, great. Good counter. Some people are like, 
Why do you play Tekken like that? This is called claw style. So I have my hands over my controller. I feel like it gives me, you know, quicker response to get into my control, uh, my button configurations or my button presses. There you go. All right, I'll do one more match. Now, if you guys have uh, a setup similar to this or you're using something different but works for you, please feel free to post that up or share a link. Um, always looking to see what the community is doing with uh, from a gaming hobbyist perspective. All right, Asu Sana. Let's start off with a 10-hit combo. Okay. All right, there you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, missed with the giant swing. Sidestepper. Uh, let's see if I can do my special here. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Uh, hopefully you, you found some value in this video. If you did, um, feel free to hit a like, comment, and subscribe if you're a first time user, uh, first time coming to this channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future content, please feel free to post that in my comment section as well. But with that said, hope you guys are taking care of each other and yourself, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.